often said here on the show, it's always great to share showbiz memories, simply because you often look at people who you've admired and thought, wow, they're great. And then you realize, in fact, that they're absolutely no different to you and me. They suffer from nerves, they're very keen on success, and more importantly, they enjoy the showbiz world. There was no bigger royal favorite uh, for many years than the brilliant Hollywood star, Danny Kaye. Now, for some people, they really liked him, others, not so. He did enjoy a spectacular career though, both on screen and on stage. In fact, when he came over to the London Palladium in the very late 40s, at the behest of, of course, the brilliant manager of the time, Val Parnell, he broke box office records and both Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret were desperate to see the show. So much so that Danny Kaye was then invited back for a private audience and a private show to Windsor Castle. In fact, all members of the monarchy at that period loved Danny Kaye. So step forward a few years on the 80th birthday party of the late and brilliant Queen Mother. Now, she loved show business, as we've told you before, absolutely adored it. And one of the very special guests on that particular special occasion, as I say, at the London Palladium, was none other than Danny Kaye. This was in 1980. And what was interesting about this was, you see, he came back and, you know, he thought he was going to be this huge star of the show, but there were many other people. However, he had requested to the producers, Prince Littler, uh, whether he could actually sing Happy Birthday to the Queen Mother from the stage. They thought about this and said, well, you know, it's not really a bad idea, a lovely way to end the show, perhaps. The day after, Danny came back and said he had another idea. Could they possibly place a microphone in the royal box because he felt sure that the Queen Mother would like to pick up the mic and sing along? Royal karaoke, I'm sure you'll agree. Fun stuff. However, <laughs> however, they politely had to say it wasn't really royal protocol for people to do that kind of thing, as you can imagine. But Danny was unrepentant and said, no, she would want to. So in order to sort of placate him, they decided, well, okay, they would place a microphone within the royal box. Someone, apparently, according to a very good source who was on the show at that time, told me that, you know, they'd had a quiet word with the Queen Mother, who politely said, you know, no, um, she didn't think she would. So just before Mr. K went on stage, he was politely asked not to refer to the microphone and indeed not to suggest the Queen Mother singing along because she wasn't in the best of voices that night. Delicately put as ever, and saving both the grace of Danny Kay, and more importantly perhaps, the producer who had to go along with this particular idea in order to placate not just one, but two royal favourites. <laughs> Funny story, I'm sure you'll agree. Danny Kay, of course, leaves a wonderful legacy behind that is still enjoyed today. And as ever, I'd love to know what were your favourite, if any, Danny Kay films and moments? And in fact, did you ever see him live, perhaps at the London Palladium? Let me know in the comments below. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.